Okay, let's make this animation under five minutes. We have some particles going in a curve like this, and then at the final touch, we have this water effect here. And yeah, so let's see how to do that. You can get the project files on my Gumroad page or on my Patreon, or if you're a YouTube member, you can also get them. The first thing I did is uh, create this uh, spiral curve here, and uh, the way I did that is uh, you just have a mesh like this, and then merge all the vertices to the center, move the vertex uh, away from the center like that, and then just use a screw modifier, and then screw this up like that, and uh, you can add as many iterations that you want then apply that then convert that to a curve and then you remain with that curve then after you have the curve like that I had this mesh here it's just a stretched out plane uh, with a few subdivisions like that I also tapered it at the end here by turning on proportion editing at the end there and uh, at the end there so it looks like that and uh, all you have to do is just give it a curve modifier under uh, the curve should be the spiral effect you did you move it out of the pivot point of uh, the curve so just hold down shift s cursor selected then select the mesh shift s cursor selected and uh, that should be that um, because i rotated this curve here uh, that's why i'm not getting this lined up correctly so what i can do is just clear the rotation of this and uh, you can see now things line up I just have to move this on the x-axis uh, like that and I should follow that path like that. Uh, then what I did was parent this to the curve uh, so that they can all move together. So if I rotate this, I just need to animate this on the x-axis again. So yeah, we just have something like that. Now to add the particles, yeah, just get any particles you want. I used a collection of branches and I also got some leaves or petals uh, like you can see here. Uh, you can watch the time lapse if you want to see how I made these, but uh, they basically have here this texture here. I have that connected to a translucence and a principle uh, to get something like this. Very simple setup. Since these are all in the same collection as the branches, I use that as a hair system. So I go in here and uh, create a new particle system. Hair system. In the render, you just select the collection you want. Uh, collection should be branches collection. Uh, you can see I also don't want to render the mesh, so I turn that off in the object settings now you can see what we have of course these particles will start moving with the mesh like that I also want to scale them up so I'm just going to come in here uh, just scale this up and uh, randomize uh, the scale as well I uh, we have way too many branches so I can use count turn on now also pick random and on increase the count for the leaves that should uh, leave less room for the branches but uh, I don't like the orientation or the rotation of the particles so I can go under uh, advanced turn on advanced and uh, play with the random uh, randomize everything I can set this to be normal and uh, randomize the phase randomize yeah just randomize everything now you can see that uh, everything is moving around as expected I did the water splash so if you look at this I have a water effect so when the bottle stops animating we, we have this water effect so that is set up using dynamic paint I added a plane like this with uh, a lot of subdivisions I'm just going to use uh, the multi resolution modifiers subdivided that gave it a dynamic dynamic paint option gave it as a canvas surface type waves that was it for the canvas and then I added a, a cube like this and method it to just drop into the water a bit like that and I gave that a dynamic paint type brush, mesh volume plus proximity it. So if I play back, you see, you get the water effect. So you see the more subdivisions you have for the mesh, the better resolution you're going to have for the water. We only see the water at the end of the animation. And the reason for that is that uh, I created a water shader. It's just a principal shader with metallic cant all the way to have perfect reflections and the roughness is all the way down. To reveal the water, all I did was animate our texture gradient uh, like this. And uh, the way I animated it is I linked its mapping coordinates to an empty that I animate the scale of like that and I plugged that into the alpha channel, which creates the revealing effect. So it starts out small and then it just grows like that as the waves propagate as well. So that's it. I'm going to be uploading the time lapse for the whole process onto my second channel. Uh, this channel, if you want to check that out. Speaking of water materials, you can check out Real Water, which is a water shader that creates realistic looking water that gives a good depth effect and uh, form, a lot of other effects that uh, you might find 
interesting and uh, also make sure to check out real time material which is a library of procedural materials by ducky 3d so if you just want to jump into blender and not worry about creating complicated shaders this library can be very very useful for you see you next time